hello what's up guys i'm excited to share another interesting tutorial in this video i will show you how to add google maps and google places in ios project using google ports i will go through from the start by generating api key to google console and using that key to get the google places using autocomplete api the sdk automatically handle access to the google map servers map displays and uh, responses and user gestures I'm going through the places API so you can see the controllers right. now I am placing a text field on my Google Maps screen so I placed a text field and I am add, I will add the constraints Ten from top, leading and trailing ten. I will hard code the height to forty. Now I will add the placeholder text for the text field location. Center it so that user can see that this text field is visible on my Google Maps. Now I add the button on the text field I can also do this by text field did begin uh, method did begin these are the methods of text field but I am doing it with the button and leading trailing top and bottom constraints for this for the button to button to be fully subscribe my channel please so this that will motivate me to upload these type of tutorials in the future now I am creating an IB outlet of the button location tapped choose the action and this uh, IB action sorry uh, a of the button tab action and now I am creating a method that go to places it's the method of that when the button is taped go to places method is called now I will show you uh, Link of tutorial that I am following. That is a very good tutorial. I will put this thing in the description so that you guys can see. This is the IS Google Places Autocomplete API that will guide you through complete. Okay, now I already installed the ports and I've already done this with the provided API key. Now I am doing this part. And now I'm looking for this code that is initiating the Google Autocomplete controller. That this code will initiate the Google Autocomplete controller to be launched on the app. Okay. I will create the text search field the outlet. Text field daughter than first responder and now uh, GSM auto controller. I will import the places to my class. Can use the method of autocomplete controller. This is the autocomplete controller, and now you can see that the delegate method needs to be added for the auto complete view controller. Now I will copy it the delegate. And I will create a separate extension to make the code clear and visible for users. Uh, here is the autocomplete delegate methods. Now, to confirm this protocol, need the step methods. I'll fix them automatically. I export code the step methods. Now, 
I already written the did complete code. I will copy it here to save the time. Now in this uh, uh, section, I'm basically putting a marker. I'm fetching the actually, uh, I will return an error if it occurs in a did fail delegate method. Uh, I will leave blank for this method right now. Okay. Now this method is called successfully when the successfully uh, app fetches the uh, location or place and then I will create a GSM marker inside this code uh, and I will point out the location on the map in this section. Uh, I will create this for myself uh, unfortunately this tutorial guy will not have done this uh, I I done myself for this code now okay okay now here you can see that I will clear the map and I will add the place name to my text search field that I previously added here Now, text name I will extract it there, and now I will add that coordinate uh, CL location coordinate 2D, which will get uh, extracted me the coordinates latitude and longitude. So, here is the longitude, and now I am creating a GSM marker object of Google Maps of API. Now, I will Add a position on the map that I will fetch from there. Now I get the title location and marker dot snippet the place name. Now below I have uh, then the I created the image and now I set a custom image for marker. Uh, this image is being my assets here. You can see that this image is put here. Now. This complete code basically I just extracted the place name, latitude, and longitude values and created a custom uh, picker uh, object and then pin point on the Google Maps. That's it. So, uh, okay, now this is giving me error or uh, I need to add some code here. Okay, I will run it. In the simulator, this is basically uh, a zoom uh, setting. I will add it now. You can see that I will click the Google Maps, maps loaded with my current location, set it to London. Now I can change this location from here to South Africa to show you that this is working. Uh, current location is tab now. This is the location inside the South Africa. If I will zoom out, and this, then you can see that Johannesburg is in the South Africa. Uh, I'll change the location to London. Now I'm back and go to Maps again. Now here you can see that my location is London. Okay. So what I'm going gonna show you. Is that pause the application now? Okay, now I will put these fields inside the map view. That is why the fields are not showing. That is wrong. I will need to this fields in outside of the map view. So I will create the constraint again. Basically, this controls not to be inside the map view onto this map view. That is why the fields are not showing. Uh, now I am putting these things above the map view. Let me correct it. Now, map 
view is below. Now I'm giving a constraint to the button to be the same constraints like the text field. fix the constraints now these constraints are added and now I will put this above these this view above these controls so now here you can see that the text field is visible now run again text field is on to the map view basically not inside the map view now I will check once again go to the maps now here you can see that the field is visible of location current location now I click this to check that my places API is working now this is the autocomplete controller of the places API I will type top location here not Karachi or here you can see that this is API is fetching these things or oh, all right app is crashed the image is not finding let me let me change it to the correct image all right i can change this image name because a image name name in the code is not correct i delete this and now pause and Check everything is fine. All right, everything is fine. Now I will type location store. Run it okay now check if the pin is working fine the selected place will be pinpointed on the map uh, open the places api now I'll search for the location or place type in something some place right and type in uh, i pinpointed this location on the map uh, here you can see the change in text uh, here you can see in this method I done the whole thing basically this is the method when you successfully selected the place this method will be called and all the work need to be done inside here so I'll done these things uh, here marker created this is the marker uh, this is the image custom of the marker now I added this in the map view in this you can see that map view camera position is adjusted against the latitude and longitude value with the zoom 15 value here you can see okay now I will select once again uh, another location uh, which is here in Karachi right now here you can see that this location is the marker is working very fine if I select the London Trafalgar Square let's see if this correctly is pinpointed on the map selected and now here as you can see that my current location is near and you can see that Trafalgar Square is here and my pinpoint is correctly placed there the Trafalgar Square area here you can see that things are working nicely my marker is created on the Trafalgar Square now that's it for this tutorial thank you guys for watching the video hope you guys like it leave a comment for any query